take a look at that. Really cool presentation. What is going on guys? So in tonight's video, I got a house that I wanna to talk to you guys about. And I'm very new to this house. To my understanding, this is a newer fragrance house. So I'm super interested in seeing what these guys got to offer. This fragrance house goes by the name of Transcendent Parfums. The founder of this particular fragrance house, Jeff Geeman, was looking to figure out a way to present fragrances to people and give them a truly unique experience that's unlike anything that they've experienced. He aims to create fragrances that will definitely garner attention, turn heads, and spark that conversation. Fragrances are said to be rich in their composition with 40% oil concentration. So I'm super interested in seeing how all this pans out. It's been a while since I've been able to get my nose on some really true originals. So I'm super excited to, to test these out. Here's our box here. Got a cool little thank you note on the sticker here. Thank you for supporting our small business. Depending on how good these fragrances turn out to be, business may not be small for long. Open this up here and we got our bottle seated, rested in here nice and neatly. And I love this bag on here. Take a look at that. Really cool presentation. That is really nice looking. Definitely gonna keep this bag right here. Got a nice size bottle sitting on the inside. Let's get into this. Met with your bottle here. Slide this out of here. Name of this is Ocean Sunset. So on this label, you're getting like a, like a really light brushed gray, transcendent parfum at the top. Got Ocean Sunset right there. It says on the bottle, extract the parfum, 50 ml, 1.7 ounce. Cap holds snug. Got like a nice pale sort of goldish color on that juice. Pop the top and the atomizer. Really, really nice atomizer. That atomizer is crucially good. And I, I'm already getting a preview of this fragrance. Mm. This smells like, in the air, like a jammy aquatic. I feel like I'm getting a jammy rose, some, some sort of uh, berry and citrus combo. It's really just really nice, just in the air. Extremely nice. There's like this almost like this funky floral, almost like a magnolia kind of a vibe. Uh, we have like that floral with that slight funk to it. it. Has like a geranium, jammy rose sort of a vibe going on. There's a little bit of a damp profile to it. Uh, I haven't looked at any notes. And you know, we gotta do our little guessing guessing game. We're gonna try this on skin. Oh, that's a beautiful spray on that. Mm. You're getting like that wet, damp rain, but also like in this aquatic, misty, watery vibe. There's something in here that almost comes off. I don't wanna say leather, cause there's no, I don't think it's leather, but it's something that kinda has like that just, a leathery sort of component to it, but it comes off almost like, uh, it's not peppery, but I, I wanna say like a fabric, a uh, cloth, a leather, sort of savory, really beautiful in this composition, very deep. There is almost like a damp, dried floral. Like there's a, like a floral that's been dried and then sort of damp again. It does have that warm sort of sunset vibe to it as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if you're getting maybe like a, like a depiction of amber in there somewhere. So I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a make my guesses. So for my, go, for my guesses, my official guesses, I'm gonna go bergamot, lemon, lime, or either yuzu, thyme, magnolia, jasmine, amber, geranium, aldehyde, ambergris and sandalwood those are going to be my guesses you're getting like this uh like this misty damp salty musky there's a there's a really pretty perfume sort of a vibe in there so i blend both of those components on uh jasmine and the ambergris uh it gives off almost like this uh like this salty perfume aquatic 
um there's like there's like the slight out of hitic vibe that's in there that could either be maybe he actually used like an aldehyde or i'll possibly blame it on maybe a magnolia maybe like some sort of some sort of a uh, slight funky floral that's giving like a little back and forth exchange there's like a jamminess to it as well it's not super fruity but i wanted to blame it on possibly like a geranium and then there is a woody component to it but it's not like it's not punchy it's not real heavy hitting it's not real smoky so i went ahead and blamed it on maybe something mild like a sandalwood now there's a little bit of warmth to this so i went ahead and attributed that to an amber i'm getting a green vibe but it's not necessarily basil it's not necessarily high pitched dry like a rosemary so i went ahead and said thyme and we'll leave it at that and we'll go from there now let's pull up the notes and see what we actually got so in the fragrance you're getting tropical fruit blend seaweed marine notes cologne ozonic air no ocean air note ozonic ocean air accords sea salt guayac wood clean musk as well as ambergris so far from what our guesses were we got ambergris I want to say cologne, maybe like an aldehyde or something like that. I'm not sure, exactly sure what cologne is. We did say something about a salty accord with the ambergris, but I attributed that to the ambergris. I think that was roughly about it. We mentioned a woodiness, but I didn't catch anything that came off like a guayac wood. It was more so, it was real subtle and uh, with the woodiness. I did mention that there was something slightly green that I was catching, and it could have been the seaweed, I thought it was maybe like a thyme. It is a bit more savory and like uh, on a savory side. So that makes sense. Overall, this is a fragrance that I can tell is going to last for a while. There are some fragrances that you put on and you can instantly tell. There are some fragrances you put on. You can instantly tell, OK, I'm going to have to reapply this with this particular fragrance. There's none of that. You can tell that this fragrance has some strength for it, even for it being a fresh aquatic type of a fragrance now that i'm re-smelling it i'm kind of catching something that feels like an apple or pineapple catching more freshness in there oh man i hate that i didn't catch all those things at first there's a little bit of a sweetness when you first apply this in that opening and then after that it becomes more so like this salty i don't want to say salty perfumey musky with a slight airy salt beautiful fragrance well done well blended you can tell the muscle is just simply there. Once again, that is Ocean Sunset by Transcendent Parfums. Right now on their website, you're able to pick this up for roughly around $74. I believe it's on sale. The original price sits at around maybe about $89 or no, $99 for the original price. So far as summer, so far as summer is concerned, this is a, a true weapon. You got some fragrances that are able to work in the summer or you got some fragrances that are made for the summer and they they don't last you know you gotta reapply they tend to be cheapies and stuff like that this one is a summertime weapon and i believe that this one's gonna have a great amount of longevity i'm gonna come back with a with a follow-up video on this one and we'll talk about the actual performance of this fragrance and i'll give this a, a some wearings the next couple of days and see how this bad boy pans out but my predictions this is going to last for a while i will drop the link in the description where you guys can check out this fragrance they got three fragrances all together they have ocean sunset funnel desire as well as dark horse they also have a discovery set if you want to kind of tiptoe your way into seeing what they're about and seeing if anything fits your fancy that is it for this video you guys like comment share subscribe and i'll catch you guys soon peace